Oh, hello, Merry Christmas, everyone. This is Bob Thurman on Robert Thurman Channel. I wanted to send a Christmas message to President Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, and his two lovely daughters. Merry Christmas from all of us who support you and who voted you for you and love you totally. Have a wonderful holiday and a much deserved rest after heavy election and a heavy duty victory and more power to you. However, now let me be critical and to encourage you to take a stronger stance with the obstructionists in the Congress persons in the House about this negotiating to avoid the fiscal cliff. The fiscal cliff would not be the end of the world. If you offer a reasonable proposal based on what you were elected to offer, which means no cut into Social Security, no cut of Medicaid, no cut of Medicare, uh, gain the revenue that is needed by closing corporate tax loopholes and by raising the revenue the marginal tax rate on the wealthy and closing tax loopholes for them. That's what you were elected to do. Uh, we want to rebalance the terrible disparity that weakens our nation between the rich and poor. We love rich people. We love wealth. We feel it is a product of generosity and good fortune. And we're not trying to take it away from people. But excessive disparity within a society is bad for the wealthy people as well as the poor people. It makes them feel isolated, paranoid, and targets of hatred by the people who are too strongly deprived. And that is the reason to rebalance. It isn't a punitive thing. Nobody's against wealthy people. We really like wealthy people. We admire them. We would like to be wealthy ourselves, but in a generous and a balanced way, not in this completely unbalanced way that has currently happened. And so therefore, please take back off the table your all too generous offer to bring Social Security into the equation. Social Security is a trust fund paid for by the American people, belonging to the American people, to receive the benefits in their old age, which are, which are slight enough as it is with the cost of living increases and so forth. And therefore, it is not anything that belongs to the congresspersons. They cannot cut it. They must get their revenue elsewhere. It is not theirs. My late friend, the late great Patrick Moynihan, Senator Moynihan, told me clearly and distinctly, and he is someone who knows, that the U.S. Congress borrowed many billions of dollars from the Social Security Trust Fund, which it still is solvent for many more decades, and if the IOUs piled up by the Congress were paid back, in fact, would be solvent until the next century and is not a problem. And therefore, it is not part of the deficit. And therefore, it is nothing to deal with deficit reduction and austerity and all this type of thing. The red, there's plenty of revenue to be taken in our wealthy country from where the revenue and the wealth is over-concentrated in places where they can't really use all of it. And therefore, it should be put to use to create the infrastructure bank, to help people, to bail out the people who are underwater in their mortgages, not the banks who caused the trouble. And please stick to that principle. Do not lose the, the love and affection of your base. And realize that the congresspersons are forcing you to do this only in order to isolate you from your base and to weaken you and then to try to inflict other kinds of damage upon you. You really have to realize that that's where it has become. You are not dealing with what democracy really needs, which is a loyal opposition. You have to, they have to be recreated into a loyal opposition by seeing the negative consequences of their disloyal opposition behavior that they have been doing. So please, President Obama, do not lose your base. Do not betray your campaign promises to keep Social Security off the table. And please, please, once you've rested and enjoyed a Merry Christmas, go back to a strongly principled stance and risk them pushing you over the fiscal cliff and then having to repair the damage when they take the heat, just as happened to Gingrich during the Clinton administration when he shut down the government, and then, then realized his mistake because of the reaction of the populace. So with this message of strengthening your resolve to act in this case on principle and not be conciliatory, you have nothing to be conciliatory about, you were elected to be forceful in this case, please do, it is the most compassionate thing being conciliatory is not compassionate in this case, and thank you very much for doing this. And my little tiny, little, little tiny voice, little nightingale voice of encouragement, I hope, will somehow indirectly reach your ears. So therefore, very Merry Christmas and Merry Christmas to everyone, 
and uh, even to Mr. Boehner and all of his friends. Merry Christmas to you. Please try to shape up and remember to be a loyal opposition, which is what is the essence of democracy. Thank you very much.